Hey, I'm Mike from the channel Did You See That? And you're watching The Venom Blog. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and we actually have some movie news I'm very excited to share with you from Deadline, who is reporting this, Hollywood Reporter and other places have picked up on it, too. Uh, but originally, the source was Deadline and some of their sources that Kelly Marcel, who wrote and produced the first two Venom movies, uh, along with creating stories from, you know, with Tom Hardy and stuff, Kelly Marcel is the new director of the Venom franchise for Venom 3. Um, and this is really cool because I know that, uh, you know, the, her and Tom have kind of always been on the same page, um, you know, with the character. And obviously when you have other people come in, other producers, directors and stuff, they bring in their visions and everything. So it sounds like at least the way they're framing this in, in this uh, article and stuff is that, uh, that Kelly is more along the lines of what Tom wants for the character. And, you know, they kind of see the character in a similar way so that this may be kind of the purest version of their take on Venom that we've gotten out of the three movies. Now, that could mean that could be good or bad. You know, we don't know. Um, I do know that a lot of the, the kind of the silliness, though, comes from them, like with the character. And that stuff kind of read really well in the first movie, at least, and is what kind of appealed to more mass audiences is kind of the some of the goofy humor in it and the, like the outrageous like uh, set pieces and, and moments. So I'm interested, definitely. But I, I love Kelly. She's so nice. Uh, you know, I used to write her on Twitter when I was on Twitter and then, you know, emailed her a couple times afterwards um, through her assistant and just the nicest person in the world. And for, you know, just as someone who is a fan of hers, I'm excited for her to get this opportunity to get behind the chair and direct uh, this movie. And uh, what a big boost of faith from Sony, too, to, to let her take the reins on this as well. I think that's awesome. It shows... Uh, at least for, for me looking as an outsider, but also knowing kind of how the industry works too. But it just shows a lot of faith in her abilities and also how well she gets along with Tom. So I hope that means, you know, that translates well to a, a very exciting and fun movie uh, because they've already been working out the storyline and now obviously they're locking in her as a director. So I have a feeling over the coming months we'll probably get some more information for sure. I mean, definitely going to get more information, I'm sure. But uh, I know Tom is filming his Motorcycle Bikers uh, movie right now and working on that. But I'm sure that once he's wrapped with that, he's going to probably be in full-on Venom 3 mode. So uh, I'm excited because that could mean that we'll get Venom in 2024. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately not 2023 like I think some people were hoping. But they'll probably film it in 2023 at some point and then you know, get it out there in 2024. And I'm sure they're going to have to work it around the other Spider-Man movies and Craven and Madam Web, and they're going to have to figure all that out. So, uh, but I'm sure I'm thinking 2024 is probably going to be when we get Venom. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I don't know. This is just really cool. As someone who is a fan of hers and likes to see people progress, you know, I, um, you know, as someone who's been passed over on, you know, job promotion stuff in the past, it's nice to see someone get promoted and get a chance uh, to have, you know, faith put in them by, their company that they work for and you know and give them a chance to shine and i think kelly's going to do a great job i'm very excited to see how like what she comes up with because she's going to have a very different eye for this world than both reuben fleischer who directed the first one and andy circus who directed the second one um so i think this is great and actually the last time though we had a writer who was a writer and producer in the first two and then became uh you know the director of the third one was actually david goyer with the the blade series and although i'm very critical of the third blade movie it did give us ryan reynolds and jessica biel um as their you know respective characters who were awesome in that movie um so there was a lot of cool elements in it despite it having kind of like a a little bit of a lame story and a lame villain in my opinion and it's dracula it should have been way cooler so in this one i hope if they do something where they maybe bring in some other characters i hope they do more with Anne weighing in this um i would love to see that um if they do something like a null or you know whatever like i'm i'm curious to see what that will look like um through the eyes of you know tom and and uh and kelly's vision here especially kelly who's going to be taking up that director mantle and i wonder who she's going to choose for her director of photography like I'm, I can't wait to see how this all comes together, but I'm just excited for this as someone who, you know, has personally connected to Kelly and who wrote me a really nice message saying, you know, um, that because the, the day I went to set, she wasn't there uh, that night and she was like, hey, I'm so sorry I missed you. I would have really loved to meet you. And she's just the sweetest person in the world. And I cannot wait to see 
what she comes up with and how she puts her stamp on this next chapter in the Venom saga. So let me know what you all think of this. I'll put the link to the Deadline article down below, but I definitely want to hear your opinions on this. I personally am excited. I think that this gives me more hope because I was surprised. Andy Serkis I like a lot, and I think he has a good directing style, but I didn't feel like a lot of it was brought to the screen in the second one. You know, I felt like, ah, this doesn't feel like Andy Serkis' vision in a way. And, I, and But that was just my personal opinion. Uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe a lot of it was, but it just didn't feel like that to me. So I really want to see what you know, Kelly's vision is. And I, I hope it's something that stands out differently. I hope it's not just um, shot through the same type of fil filters or edited a similar way. Like, I hope this has like its own voice uh, because I think that would be very strong for this franchise to have, a, you know, uh, Kelly kind of come in and do something a little visually different. And I'm sure like, because it's her first time behind the chair, she might be a little nervous to take some risks, but I don't know. I feel like I, if I was there, I would encourage her to take at least a few risks because I think after the second movie, this franchise needs a few risks taken. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, that that is able to happen. And hopefully if uh, Kelly does it, she does it really well. So I'm excited. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace. Lay down, bud. It's okay. Lay down. Your farts smell like shit, by the way. <laughs>